So in this coming lesson, we are going to talk about candlestick patterns and how they work. Hi, and let's talk about candlesticks and candlestick charts. So what is a candlestick? So a candlestick is a visual representation of price action on each and every given time frame. So when you get into the market, you are going to realize that if you come to the top of your screen here on TradingView or on MetaTrader, you can do this. You are going to see that there's different time intervals here from 1 second, 10 seconds, 15, then 1 minute, 5 minutes, 45, then 1 hour, 4 hours. Then we have 1 day, we have monthly, and we have ranges right here. So what happens is the, the trading platform, it can be TradingView or MetaTrader or any trading platform that you are going to use, is going to gather this data and it's going to give you the data of this candlestick patterns and it's going to create this candlestick so that you can use these candlesticks to do your analysis so let me explain how the candlestick is created and how it works so let's start off by talking about the anatomy of a candlestick and what is the an anatomy of a candlestick it is the structure of the candlestick so the candlestick is created mainly by two things so on a candlestick, there's two things that we care about so the first one is this big green part here it is called the body of a candlestick and these lines here that comes up and down this one is called a wick or shadow right so this green part is the body on the other candle again this red part is the body of the candlestick and this is called the wick and the reason why the wick and the body is important is because this is what determines the momentum or who is in control between the buyers and sellers of the market and we are going to talk more about those in a minute right so the body of the candle and the wick of the candle is is going to be important to understand this and the things that we want to take note of is number 1 the size of this body of the candle right size of body right and also we want to take note of the uh the size of the wick right so the length of the wick It's going to be very important to determine a candle which has got a very big body against a candle which has got a very small body. And that is going to help us understand what the market is likely to do. And once we see the, all this, uh, the body and the wick, the next thing that we want to know about or the next thing that we care about on these candles is four main price point, right? So I'm going to start off by explaining this green candle right here, right? So on this green candle, you are going to see that we have this price point, which is the opening of the candle. So this is the opening price of the candle. So let's say the market is moving and we are analyzing on a one hour time frame, right? The opening of the candle is going to be the start of that time frame, the price point when that one hour started, right? So let's say the one hour started at 12 o'clock. So where the price was at, at 12 o'clock is the opening price, right? So just going to say 12.00, which was the opening price. And then from this opening price, we have this little week right here. What caused or what created this week right here? So the reason why we have this week right here is because when the market opened here it moved to the downside right and it moved on to the zone until this zone here and this zone here we call it the low which is the lowest price point where the market got to in that one hour so let's say we were trading on a one hour time frame so the at 12 o'clock the market was opening and this is the body of the candle which was being created and then at 12 let's say at 12 10 right at 10 past 12 the market moved down and at 12 past 10 it was here creating the law right and then what about this high part here so what happens is when the market got here it moved to the upside and then it created the highest point so let's say this is called the high and let's say this was at 12 uh 45 right at 12 45 the market was here it was high remember it opened here so right now which means in this particular hour the market opened down here and pushes all the way to the upside creating the high and then at one o'clock exactly when the market closed or when this candle closed right it gives us what is called the close of the candle let's say this was 13 zero zero which is 1 p.m right so these four parts here we need 
to know number one the open of the candle number two we need to know the close of the candle we also need to know number three the high and number four we need the low right so using the open the the high the close the high and the low it simply means we can now determine who was in control in that particular hour right and if you don't understand what i'm talking about let me take uh, another minute to explain this on this other candle right so this candle right here is called a bearish candle so this first one was called a bullish right so this first candle was called a bullish candle right because the opening price is lower than the close right so if the opening price is here and the close is here it means the market opened here and then it moved up and it closed above where it was so in this particular period the market was bullish the market was going to the upside on the other side we have what is called a bearish candle and what happened on the bearish candle we have the opening price right here this was the opening price let's say we were using the daily time frame in this case so on the start of the day the market was here right so the market was here on the start of the day and it, it moved it did whatever it did but then at some point in that day the highest point that the market got to was here which is the open the high and then now we have the low which says the market pushed to the lower side and then we have the close so how did the market create this candle right simply what happened is the market opened right here right once the market opened right here it pushes all the way up to this point it goes all the way down to this lowest point and then it closes here so we have the open right here the high the low and the close and these are the four main price points that we want to look for these are the main four price point that as traders we need to be looking at and this is going to help us to create our strategies and also create all our winning trades right so before we move forward before i show you the, uh, the actual candlesticks on my charts i want you to understand number one when the candlestick is green the market have been pushing to the upside on that particular time when the candlestick is red the market is pushing to the downside at that particular time so i don't want you to get confused right here but when you go to my own charts here you are going to see that i don't have green and red candles i have blue and black candles why did i do this i did i did this for psychological reasons you are going to talk about that in the next lessons but for now on my charts i want you to look at the blue candle as the bullish candle which is the candle that is going to go to the upside or oh, just for the sake of this video or this tutorial or this or just for the sake of this course let me change my candlesticks into black into red and green okay now it looks familiar right it looks exactly as i was telling you here so the green candle represents when the price is, is going to the upside and the red candle is representing when the price is, is going to the downside okay let's look at this candlestick that, that we have right here what does this candlestick show you uh, about this market so this candlestick here the way that this candlestick was created is we have the opening price right here this is the our opening price and then we have prices pushing to the lower side creating the low and then we have prices pushing all the way up creating a high and then it closes right here so we have our open so our open right our open is smaller than our close right so our close is above so our open is smaller than our close right which means this candle is a bullish candle so what do you think of when you think about when you see a bullish candle so the bullish candle the way that it represents it shows us that the market have momentum to go to the upside and most likely the next candle that is going to come up is going to also go to the upside right not always but it's gonna happen like this sometimes
So in this case right here, if you play here, you can see that the next candle that came up went to the upside. So I want you to see how this candle was created. So I'm just going to make sure that it goes very slow, right? Uh, let's do 0 0.3. So I want you to pay attention of how this candle is created, right? So I'm going to place here. So you can see that the candle is going to be started. You can see here, the candle was created and then it went down to create the wick and then now it went all the way up to close above right here. So we all saw that the market opened right here. It went down to create the wick and then it went to the upside. I will replay that again. Look at this. You're going to see a candle being created and then you're going to see it, is, it will start off by creating a red color, which means it went, the, 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 the closing price was lower than the opening. But then in that same hour or in that same five minutes, because here I'm using the five minute time frame, in that same time frame, you can see the candle also going to the upside above the opening and then it turns into green. Look at this. You can see right here, the market goes all the way down and then it went up, right? So by then, by going to the downside, it created the lowest point and the high. In this case, the high is the closing price. So this candle closes when the price was going really up, right? So that's how you understand the candlesticks, right? But before we move forward into the next lesson, I want you to understand, uh, I want you to see something on these candles, right? So let's say you are trading uh, these bearish candlesticks and you are analyzing your market because of these bearish candles. You can see that when you get the bearish candles, you can get a lot of them going in the same direction and they show you that the market is moving really fast to the downside. When the market started going up, we get about three candlesticks right here. The market is going to the upside. And we have two candlesticks going to the downside. And then you can see sometimes we have a green, red, green, red, green, red. But most of the time when we get green candlesticks get going to the same direction, we are going to get a little bit of a movement there. And you can use these candlesticks to place your trades. For example, one of the simplest strategies that I ever saw was when someone told me that, when you see two candle, two red candles in a row, that simply means the next, the third candle is likely going to be a red candle again. So you might be looking to sell. And that was something that is very important. It's not a complete strategy, but if you look at it, you are going to see that whenever we get about two uh, candles in the same color direction, right, we are likely going to continue in that direction. So let me show you what I mean by this. So, for example, in this case, you can see that we have one candle here, the second candle here. So, the third candle is likely to push to the upside. In this case, we have the red, red, and then the last, the third candle pushed to the downside. We have a lot of these candles, right? We have a lot of these scenarios, right? I'm going to delete this. And you can see oh, again here, over here, it happened. Two red candles, the market pushes to the upside. In this case, we have two red candles. Again, market pushes to the downside because when you see a red candle, the market will likely push to the downside. When you see a green candle, the market is likely push to the, to the upside, right? So you can see how these candlesticks can help us to determine where the prices are likely to move from right so this is something that you need to take care of something that you need to understand when you try to trade these candlestick patterns right but this is just the basic of candlestick patterns i'm going to show you candlestick patterns and candlesticks that you can really use to enter into the market for example we are talking about candlesticks that have long wicks to the one side or that have very huge bodies like this what does this show you in the market and what you need to do we are going to talk more about that in the next lesson but for now for now i want to start by teaching you how to identify the trend in the market because once you identify the trend you can combine the trend and these candlestick patterns to be able to place high probability trades, trades that are likely to give you profits. So let's jump into the lesson and let's talk about how to identify trends in the market.